There's a flower that's, I think, pretty enough to be sold in a flower shop. Yeah, see? it is pretty. Yes. Uh, it's awfully small, however, because here's what it really looks like, see? Holy, but on the screen it looks yeah. so big. Yeah, that's because we're taking the image of the flower and picking it up by this long lens and sending it over here to this little television camera. Mm -hmm. and wires lead around here over to that monitor, so that's why it looks so big, because we're magnifying it with that lens and the, and the camera. Now. Mm -hmm. Anything that we look at today, you could look at with a magnifying glass. In fact, in order for you to understand how much we're magnifying things, here is a ruler. See it? There's the number one down below, and I'm gonna line it up so one is right on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay. Now, these are millimeters. Would you count the number of millimeters you can see? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 32? Yeah, 32. Okay. Now, Here's a ruler. Would you measure the width of the total television screen? And it's about 28. 28? Yeah. 280 yeah, millimeters. Mil okay. Millimeters. There's a calculator. Divide 280 by 32, Two. did you find? Okay. Yeah. 32. What do you got? 8.75. 8.75. That means we're magnifying it eight, almost nine times, right? Mm -hmm. And a typical good magnifier will magnify ten times so that anything we are looking at today, you can see with the magnifier. In fact, don't just look at the, at the, um, at flowers. Look at leaves as well. In fact, here is a leaf. Look. It looks like a whole bunch of of tunnels. Yeah, little, little t those are little veins on the underside of the leaf. And of course the veins take the water from the roots and distribute it to all parts of the leaf so the leaf can manufacture food and send it to the other parts of the plant. So take a good look at leaves. It looks like uh, where the ants make their um, tunnels. The tunnels? Yeah. yeah, well, see the ants are delivering food too, so maybe yeah. that's why it ends up looking like that. Then, here's a common object that uh, I would assume you think is very sharp. Yeah. It's the, head, the pointy of a common pin. Look sharp? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just remember the size. See it, how, how big it is? Mm -hmm. Because some of the pins in nature are much sharper. In fact, take a look at that. A thorn. Well, it's the, it's the, uh, the leaf of a Canada thistle which is the kind of plant that has spines sticking all over to prevent animals from eating it. And you can see they do a very good job because they are very, very sharp indeed. Imagine touching one of those things. You yeah, might even yeah. bleed from see, it. See, that's yeah. why the plant develops it, right. Now, remember the size of those spears because here's the spear at the business end of, of a, a bumble bumblebee. bumblebee. Right. Well, that sharp. Once I got stung by one of you those You did? Things. And you could feel it too, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can see why, because magnified about eight and a half times or nine times, it's really very sharp indeed. Mm -hmm. So as I said, any of the things that we looked at today, you can see with the magnifying glass. And here's one that I'm going to give to you, because I want you to be sure and look at things around you in your everyday life. So take that, Thanks. and here, start with the business end of a bumblebee.